You're right, you know. About what? About me being stuck in the past. Here I am, a college freshman, and and if I actually let you get to know me better, you'd realize that's a pretty big thing. Here I am, working my ass off, studying, reading, churning out papers, learning, you know. Falling in love with the city, which is amazing. Yet there's still part of me that's 15 years old. Still stuck back in Boston. Still in love with that boy from down the creek who... Only sees me as a friend. You call this a life, huh? Taking daddy's money and buying your dollies and your knickknacks and eating his goddamn chicken, fattening up like a fucking fry heifer. You changed the scenery, but not the situation. And the warden makes house calls. Everybody knows, everybody knows that he screws you. But what they don't know is that you like it. Shut up! You like it! But hey man, whatever, whatever. A man is a dick, is a man is a dick, is a chicken, a dad, a volume, a speculum, a, whatever. You like being Mrs. Randon. That's probably all you've ever known. <laughs> you just spit that back into the tray? No one should eat that. Well, thanks very much. No, the chicken's off. What do you mean the chicken's off? It's fresh in this morning. From who? Gary. I said not to use Gary, I told you to use my guy. I don't know your guy, I know Gary. I know Gary too, which is exactly why I said not to use him. Oh God, did we just serve this to a room full of people? Maybe they'll be fine. Maybe, or maybe this funeral will go down in history for killing half the attendees. What are we gonna do? Well, look outside, how are they? What do you mean, how are they? What do you mean, what do I mean? Do they look like they're all about to pass out halfway through their chicken goujon? This is a nightmare. Oh. I'm actually feeling dizzy. Will you stop it and look? Fine. I look fine so far. What makes this worse is that the widow's husband died of food poisoning. Did he actually? No. 